This is just my luck, man. I put myself out there for once, and she doesn't even show up, man. I don't even know why this is hard for me. Can I give you some advice? Delete that app. Go to a bookstore or a coffee shop, maybe even the mall. Or go to a dance club, but go somewhere in person, for real. You can observe if you see a lady and she looks at you or smiles at you. Go over there. Smile. Introduce yourself. Start a conversation. Make her laugh. Ask her questions about herself. You might just have a date later on that week. I met my wife 22 years ago at a gin blossoms concert. Like, I can't even begin to describe how attracted to her I was. And it was all the little things. It was all the little details about her that just drew in her. And this girl, maybe it was the way her hair looked in the light. Maybe it was the little smile you know, in her eyes. Maybe it was the shape of her body in the shadow. I don't know. But attraction is something that you feel. It hits you like a freight train. It knocks you over. It knocks you off your feet. And it can be in something like the way she turns the page in a book. Or how she dances when she doesn't think anybody's watching. Or in the way she genuinely laughs at all the stupid, stupid things that you say. That connection, that mind, that intimacy between sometimes strangers. When you feel that, you know. I think I know what you mean. Tony, John, things have got to change, you know. I told you this is the third time I've called about the same problem and it doesn't seem that we're getting anywhere because I still have to deal with it and it still doesn't work. So I don't know what you expect me to do unless you send somebody out here and get it working. I'd say we are live from Cambridge to determine.
which more contestants can create the best Knickerbocker pie in Arctic Road? Oh hey, hello there. Here about a job offer. You see, I'm preparing my second coming at the world, and I'm in need of apostles. Well, that's a flattering offer. I'm not really that religious. I know. My third thought is to get the 12 most Christian men on the planet. But after all, little research, they can be a bit, you know. Yeah. Plus, what's with all the crosses? You think if GFK came back, he'd like to be surrounded by his sniper rifles? Well, I still have no idea what you want me to do. I, I don't even know what my hostel does. Well, you say he's here on your right. Next, we're going to do our tricep kickbacks. So in your position, feet hip width. You're going to drop down, row the arms up to your side, and then kick back, looking out in front of you. Arms should be extending to a straight position and then controlled back in, keeping them close to your body. Welcome to You Suck Trivia Round. I'm your in-studio host, Maddie Sicano. Today we have Team Black and Darker Black competing against Bald Ball Trivia. From Team Black, we have Arnold. And then, from Team Darker Black, we have Contested Mary. Alright, so today as we begin, I will ask you the question. You will then reach the sub button. Two, one. Thirty seconds on the clock. One last tip I gotta mention when it comes to eating healthy is the power of protein shakes. These have probably helped me out the most from my journey to a horrible eater to a healthy one. Protein drinks are great for anybody looking to lose weight or bulk up. If you're looking to lose weight, protein drinks can help you replace meals that otherwise might have been filled with an unhealthy snack. And if you're looking to bulk up, protein shakes help you get the amount of protein you need in a given day while also building muscle and aiding your body in recovery from when you have a really good workout. What I like the most about protein shakes is you can definitely get creative with it. You can also bring them on the go and you can have them between meals when you're uh, kind of hungry but not really quite ready for a whole meal. 